Good morning students this is Sanchita ma'am let us begin the topic types of soil from the chapter 9 soil from the book of ncert class 7 types of soil soil is classified into following types on the basis of their size of the rock particles in it contains the soil is classified into sandy soil clay soil and loamy soil sandy soil this soil contains a large amount of sand and very small amount of silt and clay particles the feature of this soil are sand particles are quite large they cannot fit closely together so there are large spaces between them these spaces are filled with air hence we can say that sandy soil is well aerated sand particles have large spaces between them this makes sandy soil very porous water moves rapidly through it and dries quickly so it cannot hold much water sandy soil is light it has a tendency to be blown away by the wind if left bare sandy soil lacks humus so it is less fertile sandy soil does not hold water has less humus and fewer soil organisms hence it is not suitable for growing crops sandy soil is not sticky sandy soil is found in mainly in deserts clay soil this is the number two types of soil clay soil contains mainly clay it has very little amount of sand and silt in it it contains some humus the features of this soil are clay particles being much smaller packed tightly together leaving little space for air so clay soil has little air clay soil has very small and tightly packed clay particles making it less porous so it has a very good water holding capacity clay soil gets water logged easily during the rainy season clay soil turns very hard on drying clay soil is heavy because it can hold more water than the sandy soil clay soil is very sticky when wet number 3 type is loamy soil loamy soil contains an equal amount of sand and clay it also contains silt it is mostly dark brown and appears slightly coarse loamy soil is the best for growing crops because of the following reasons loamy soil has the right water holding capacity necessary for the growth of plants due to the presence of clay in it loamy soil has adequate air spaces between its particles to hold sufficient air needed by the roots of plants due to the presence of sand in it loamy soil contains sufficient amount of humus to provide necessary nutrients for the growing plants loamy soil 
can be ploughed easily in the crop fields. So that's all about the types of soil. Thank you students.